little turtle. Oh, you're so slow. You traveling down the trail too? Do you want to come hike with me? Good morning from day number 48. Ah, what a morning. It has been pouring all morning. And right now it's just slight drizzle, so I figured I could make this good morning video well. It's not a downpour. So it's supposed to rain all day, and then later it's supposed to be thunderstorms. But today I am only doing six miles. That is so fantastic. My feet were killing me yesterday, so six miles is going to be beautiful. And then tomorrow I'll have 9.4 miles into Daleville, where I have a room reserved. And I'm glad I reserved that five days in advance. No, six days. I did it six days out. Yeah, wow. Um, because as of yesterday, every single uh, hotel, motel was booked in town, except for like two or whatever, and they're like 200 plus dollars a night. Can't afford that. <laughs> Nor do I want to pay that. Um, but so I'm so glad I got my room reserved. Oh, there's that pink lady slipper. Oh, another one. Oh, there's so many out here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh cool. Okay. Um, where, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I go over Tinker Cliffs today, which is sad because as you can tell, everything is socked in. I was hoping even though we were gonna have a rainy day that it wouldn't be foggy, but it is. So I won't have views at Tinker Cliffs, but absolutely worth going over McAfee Knob yesterday. A thousand percent worth every painful step. <laughs> All right, I will uh, talk to you guys a little bit up trail. Last night I ran out of fuel as I was cooking my dinner. Luckily for me though, the water had gotten hot enough that I was able to cook my Norse rice sides um, without it being crunchy. Um, I had a feeling I was gonna run out before I got to Daleville uh, because I hardly had anything left when I left Parisburg, but did a pretty good job. So luckily I have couscous though, because you don't have to have hot water to cook couscous. So that's going to be my dinner tonight. And then I just have to remember when I go to that outfitter to buy a new canister of fuel. Ooh. It's always fun trying to estimate how much you have left because I don't want to carry an extra can if I don't have to. But this worked out pretty well. And it's always a good idea to carry at least one meal that doesn't need to be cooked just in case. And luckily for me, I've got that couscous. So I like that. I got mayonnaise to put in it, so it's not just going to be plain, although I wish I had um, some salt or something else to add into it, but I don't. <sighs> Yesterday, I called ahead to the outfitter in Daleville, because I wanted to see if they carried Ultras, more specifically two different models, and unfortunately, they do not carry any Ultras at all. So that was disappointing. I wanted to try either the Timps or the Olympus shoes because they have way more cushioning. And I'm wondering if that would be better for my feet because clearly, you know, the shoes I have right now aren't, I mean, they're better than my old ones. They're the same model, but um, I think that until at least all these rocks disappear, which probably will be never. <laughs> I think having more cushion beneath my feet would be better. That way, it maybe would give them time to heal a little bit. So, I ended up going to REI's website. And I ordered a pair of the Olympus to be mailed ahead to Glasgow. And uh, I'm going to take my sweet time getting there. Um, planning four days out of Daleville to get there. So I'm really lowering my miles. Uh, 
but hopefully the shoes will arrive by then. Hopefully they fit and I like them. And then uh, we'll give them a go. Because, you know, I love my more minimalist shoes. I love feeling everything beneath my feet. But I think that <laughs> I think that might be better for me on weekend or section hikes. But doing a through hike, I think feeling everything all day, every day uh, has really gotten to my feet. <laughs> so cross your fingers that the package arrives on time by the time I get there and cross your fingers for me that they work well. I can't wait to get them. I'm really excited. Goody, I get to go up slanted rocks that are wet. This shouldn't be hard at all. Hey, yo, you the one. I see you. Oh, so much wildlife today. Hey, do birdie. You do, you do, cutie pie. Oh, you're just adorable. What you doing on this rainy day? Oh, you cutie pie. I am point four from Tinker Cliffs, and I'm pretty positive there's gonna be no views today. Oh well, I'm gonna come back here one day, maybe next spring, and redo McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs and do it on a beautiful sunny day as day hikes. Just as I suspected. <laughs> no views. Made it to Scorched Earth Gap. It's a pretty cool name. The newts are everywhere. I just saw three in a row. I think I've seen seven of them already this morning. You gotta watch every single step because they don't even move. You could step right on them and they wouldn't move. Little boogers. But I am almost to the shelter. I think my gut hook gaps and I'm like 400 and some feet from it. And it is 9.59. So I, my day is done really early. <laughs> but my feet are going to be so happy. And then I get into Daleville tomorrow and was so excited. It's supposed to be a rainy day again tomorrow. But um, I'm getting my new sleeping pad. No more inflating it multiple times in the night or waking up flat. <laughs> That's going to be so great. And then I'm getting that little cork massage ball so I can massage out my feet. And then I'm going to get some Epsom salt at uh, hopefully the Kroger there and soak my feet in a hot bath with that. I'm looking so forward to tomorrow and yummy food. And I heard that that barbecue place there, um, I heard the food is okay, but that they give free banana pudding to through hikers and that it makes it worth it. <laughs> so that might be on my list to go check out. All right, I'll catch you guys later. So I'm just chilling in the shelter. A whole bunch of people have been here for the past couple hours. Um, eating lunch and then moving on. More people came eating lunch, moving on. They're all going into Daleville. Um, I'm sure somebody will show up tonight. People who are coming over McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs today. So I probably won't be alone. But uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day. I'm going to edit some videos. Probably watch a movie, hopefully better than the one I watched the other night, because the other one was a horrible movie, and I felt like I wasted my time. But, uh, probably won't update you anymore today, because there's nothing happening, but I'm so excited to get into town tomorrow, I can't wait. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you guys then.